today I'm here to talk to you guys about Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Yep, the game that dominated most of your teenage years and for some people is still a massive part of their life. CSGO took the world by storm in the late summer of 2012 and quickly began to take over the first-person shooter industry. Yes, yes, I hear you COD fanboys. COD is the number one FPS game. Well, I respect your opinion, but for me, Counter-Strike will always take precedence over Call of Duty. Moving on, today we are going to talk about CSGO inventories. To be more precise, we're going to talk about the 10 most expensive CSGO inventories. So buckle up you poor folk and get ready to be extremely envious of CSGO's top elite. Don't worry, I felt the same way. These inventories are crazy big. We'll be talking about the cash value of these inventories, not what they're worth. Let's begin. Peter. On the number one spot is Peter. This guy's inventory is worth $487,888.98 according to prices on market.csgo.com. Yep, you heard it right. This guy is worth around half a million dollars. All that money from just playing and investing in a game. Shit man, who says video games are bad? Peter has half a million reasons that say otherwise. This player has invested around 3,347.93 hours into CSGO. That's like 140 days of non-stop CSGO. This guy has an M9 bayonet Doppler in ruby color, which in itself is worth around $7,599. He also has got the much coveted Dragon Lore skin for the AWP and all sorts of fancy looking gloves and stuff. You guys are wasting your lives doing 9 to 5 jobs. Gaming is obviously the way forward. Good, uh, 40, I don't know how to pronounce this name, so we're gonna call him number two. Number two is worth $338,455.97 according to market.csgo.com. Well, a bit less from our Peter, but you must also consider that number two has spent only 2,590.53 hours or 108 continuous days playing this game. It's a lot, but still less compared to Peter. This guy has a crazy good knife collection. He's got the M9 bayonet Doppler in both Sapphire and Ruby, which in total puts him over the $20,000 mark. He also has got the butterfly knife Doppler, the M9 bayonet Gamma Doppler, and many others. In total, this guy is worth over $50,000 only in knife skins. Most people can only dream of making that much in a year. Number two has also got the coveted Dragon Moor skin. His inventory is less in number than that of Peter, but his items are worth way more. Senpai Chiki. These guys have got peculiar names. What's the issue in using regular names like John or Peter? Oh, sorry, that was army speech. So Senpai is worth around $235,378.10. Again, this amount is approximately 100,000 short of the previous one, but Senpai has only logged in 439.07 hours which means about 18 days. It's nothing compared to the guys above, so give Senpai time, he might soon reach the top of the list. Most of Senpai's worth is made up of containers, EMS Katowice 2014 to be more precise. The guy has got around 36 of these containers and each is valued at around $5,000 so you can see what the majority share of his inventory is made of. In it, mate, the player has a doggo as his profile picture and boasts around 771.33 hours played, which amounts to 32 days. This guy is a knife collector with over 131 knives in his inventory. The most expensive one is the Butterfly Knife Doppler, the Star Trek edition, which is worth around $14,521.86. All that one knife skin, what is the world coming to? This isn't the only fancy knife in his collection. He also has the M9 Bayonet Doppler and the Gamma Doppler, along with the Karambit Gamma Doppler, all rare skins that are hard to come by or are just too plain expensive for peasants like us. His inventory is worth $179,575.26 according to market.csgo.com. Gangster Bob Playing out as the thunk version of SpongeBob SquarePants, Gangster Bob has amassed an extensive inventory that is worth around $548,387.46. Yep, this guy officially crossed the half a million dollar mark. However, his inventory value is less, which leads him to land at the fifth rank. This guy has punched in around 6,907.57 hours of CSGO. That's like 287 days of continuous gaming. 
The guy is definitely a pale vampire by now. How can these guys play so much? I can barely sit and play for an hour before something comes up. Points for commitment to this guy. Proud of dude. Gangster Bomb's most precious item is the souvenir AWP Dragon Moy, which is worth around $20,800. I can get a good car in this amount, bro. Shaking my head. However, Bob is a pistol collector and has over 163 skins in his inventory, the most expensive being the Glock 18 Fade, which is priced around $1,037.50. Hopefully, I'll be able to own costly stuff like this one day. Xiao Meng Chin Cha. I'm sorry guys, I really don't know how to say this name. I guess it roughly translates to Xiao Meng Chin Cha. Well, after logging in around 6,101.77 hours or 254 days, this guy's inventory is worth $280,855.36 according to MarketCSGO.com, while it's valued at $131,211.06. The most precious item in this inventory is the M9 Bayonet Doppler, the Sapphire one, which is worth around $13,000. So, he is a rifle collector with about 143 rifle skins in his collection. The most unique and expensive rifle skin is the M4A4 Howl, which is valued at around $4,355. He even has a lot of fancy glove skins like the Pandora Box and Vice for the sports gloves. Overall, excellent work, dude. You are also part of the Master Gamer class. Jail Bob. That's the next Bob on the list. Looks like a popular name for CSGO players. So, Jail Bomb's inventory is worth $301,523.43 according to MarketCSGO.com, while it's valued at $127,304.01. Jail Bomb has spent around 1,630.48 hours playing CSGO, which rounds about to around 68 continuous days. He doesn't have highly fancy skins or collectibles, or at least it's not shown on his inventory page. Yep, yeah, that's a thing. You can make your account private, which hides all your inventory and profile stats. HFB is rumored to have the most expensive inventory, but unfortunately, nobody knows who he or she is, and thus, people haven't been able to value HFB's inventory. Getting back to Jail Bob, the guy is a decent player who has worked hard to build a sizable inventory but there's nothing too interesting about his stuff. Simoro Roughly translated to Simoro from Japanese, this individual is a member of the Old Guard and has 5,052.97 hours under his belt. His inventory has been estimated to be around $189,482.30 according to MarketCSGO.com, but it has been valued at lesser, around $117,931.95. The most expensive item on his inventory is the Ruby Karambit Doppler, which is worth around $6,200. He isn't particularly a fan of one specific thing. Instead, he has a diversified inventory made up mostly of knives, pistols, rifles, and sniper rifles. I personally like his inventory. It has a healthy diversity that allows a person to try out various gaming styles. Shall Lei Q. Again, a lot of unpronounceable names on this list. I'm sorry if I mispronounce any name. I'm not looking to offend anyone. So, roughly translating to Chao Lei Kui, his inventory is worth $191,646.18 at marketcsgo.com, but again, it has been valued at much lesser and given a price tag of $112,000. $214.48. We have got a rifle skin collector on our hands. This individual has collected around 223 rifle skins, the most expensive of which is the M4A4 Poseidon, valued at around $1,100. However, surprisingly, the most expensive item in this inventory is a knife, the Bayonet Doppler, worth around $5,750. Beautiful skin, in my opinion. Fire Trump. On the number 10 spot is Fire Trump. The guy's profile picture is literally Trump driving a children's fire truck. So his inventory is worth $265,040.48, according to the market CSGO.com. Fire Trump, the name sounds so weird and funny. I don't know, man. Gamers, they're creative. So this guy loves collecting both sniper rifles and knives. The most expensive item in his inventory is a butterfly knife, 
Marble Fade Skin, which is worth $1,325. So I guess that's about it for now. I hope you guys liked our video. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel to continue receiving such content directly on your YouTube feeds. Oh, and before you guys go, hit the bell icon to receive instant updates about our videos. Catch you later.